today we'll show you some homes in Fort Lauderdale, technically Lauderdale Lakes, and we'll talk about the city. And we'll give you a local market update telling you kind of like what the sale price is looking like in the area. And at the end, we're going to reveal all the prices for the homes. So leave a comment and guess for each one of them. But to give you a heads up, the median sale price in this area of Lauderdale Lakes is $159,000, which is way below pretty much everywhere in Florida's average. So that's crazy. Look at this big outdoor area. Like yeah. Probably fit in a couple chairs in here or even like cover it and have it like a little anai. Nice to have that. Double doors. This home was nicely updated and has got a lot of character and charm. Yes. You can see it kind of, but there's a step down there. Looks like they missed one little spot with the tile there. Yeah. You could see There see was that? orange tile. Yeah. Oh, and actually, yeah, it just fell off. So it could probably be easily fixed. But I like how this area sinks in. It's kind of different. Yeah, this could be like a living room area. And then you could either extend the living room to here or have this be a dining area or have it back there. Like there are many, many options. Yes. But here is your one car garage. So this is a three bed, two bath, one car garage, 1,672 square feet. And it was built in 1966. You can see it was recently updated. We got your sink out here, and it looks like laundry would go up. Yeah, the hookups for the laundry. And you also have a side door access. But those are the hookups. It's just it doesn't have the dryer. dryer yeah, we're trying to figure this out. We're seeing hookups, it looks like, but it looks like those pipes are just running into the sink. And yeah. There is no dryer vent, but yeah. this is where you would add your washer and dryer. Mm -hmm. Continuing though. Now, clearly to tell you a little bit about Lauderdale Lakes, it's really close to Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> so that wasn't apparent. It's basically a suburb of Fort Lauderdale. Yes. Coming to here, I like these little open areas. You could tell they probably knocked down some walls to make this open, which is a good look. Yes. And here is your pantry. Pretty decent sized pantry. Yeah. And you can tell by the shelving, like those are the little giveaways. That was an older home. Mm -hmm. The kitchen's really nice though. The cabinets are nicely updated and so are the countertops. Yeah. Like the stainless style. steel appliances. I like that they cut this out here too to open it up a little bit. Like they found as many ways as they could yeah. to open it as they could. Yeah, it does feel very open. That backsplash is gorgeous. And to tell you a little bit about Lauderdale Lakes, the overall niche.com grade for Lauderdale Lakes is a C plus. Public schools are a B minus. Housing is a C minus. Good for families, C plus. Jobs, C minus, cost of living, B minus, outdoor activities, B plus, crime and safety, C minus, nightlife, B minus, diversity is B plus, weather, A, health and fitness, C plus, and commute is a B plus. Continuing in here, this is like a good space. Like, oh, you got a lot of living space in here between this area here, this area here, and then the other pocket over here. And again, it's it's all pretty open. And so this is, uh, the, the layout is unique, we'll show you. Coming through here, you got yourself a bathroom. Nice floor in here as well. Look at that tile. Really nicely updated. Yes, it's gorgeous. This whole bathroom, it's new. Yeah. Got a fun double shower action thing going on there too. And newer toilet, yeah, vanity, like everything's pretty updated in here. So cabinets are updated as well. We come through here. Here's, here's one of your bedrooms. New carpet. Tall baseboards too. I wonder if they added those or if those were already in the home. They were probably added. Yeah. Okay. They seem pretty new. Doubt that they were original. A couple windows in here too for some good natural light. Plus a closet. Pretty standard size. And then coming back out here, we've got your second bedroom. Pretty good size bedroom. Mm -hmm. 
The windows look new as well mm -hmm. here. Yeah, I mean, just about everything in here has been updated. Again, about the same size closet in here. Oh, there's actually a little shelf up there. That's nice. There's are two good, shelves. Pretty good size closet. Too. Mm -hmm. And to tell you a little more about Lauderdale Lakes, it is about 46 minutes to Miami. And Miami Beach is a 54 minute drive from this home in particular. There's lots of shopping nearby as well. Basically have the Fort Lauderdale area and the Miami area for shopping as well. And coffee shops, restaurants. This is a big room. Yeah, I like the windows in the corner. That's a different look. Having them kind of right next to each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this room is huge though. And Three so closets. it's a primary and you don't get a walk in, but you get some, a lot of closets. Well, I guess one is kind of walk-in-ish, but like, okay, check these out. One. And they are not connected, so that's two, nice. Three. And then four, and this one is like almost a walk-in. I don't know how to explain it, but... I think that would be kind of like a linen closet. It's yeah. really deep, though. Yes, lots of room for storage in there. Like, I think you could do linen for half and other stuff for the other half. And this bathroom has also been recently remodeled. I like that. It looks like steps. Yeah. It reminds me of that, what was that video game? I think it was called Cubert from back in the day. <laughs> Pretty cool. I like those touches. Yeah. It's definitely unique. Mm -hmm. and this is a really big tub, and actually, it looks like a like a uh, hot tub Summer. with the jets in there. Yeah. Updated the toilet. It looks like, or if they didn't, it's still pretty new. And the cabinets are also updated. What did they manage to squeeze a double vanity or double mm -hmm. sinks in here? Yeah, and you still have a little bit of counter space. And there is a pool on this one, so we'll take you to that. But leave a comment. Let us know how much you think this one is priced for. Again, as a reminder, the median sale price here is $159,000. And again, we are not from here if you're new to the channel. So we go all around Florida and give house tours and market updates for different cities and tell you about cities. We're actually from Venice, Florida. So if that's something that is of interest to you, subscribe and turn on all notifications. And if you want to get connected with a local realtor that knows about the area you're looking at, Click the link in the description. This is a big pool yes. and big pool, big backyard. There is a little paved area here too. And when we walked out here, I saw an iguana, a green iguana climbing the tree. So that was pretty cool. The mango tree, I should say. Yes, lots of mangoes out here. So you don't ever have to go grocery shopping as long as you can just survive on mangoes and nothing else. Yeah, there's three mango trees. Yeah, there's some here some on the ground so you definitely live in the tropical life here and they got a yes. slab back over here yet too you could put like your grill or something lots of space back here actually and a big side yard too yeah is that another mango tree don't see any fruit on that one no we go to the next one let's do it house number two got some cool updates in it i think you're gonna like it we'll see but look at the landscaping look at the palm it's trees beautiful oh, coconuts didn't notice that nice right your front yard and there's some more food in the back we'll tell you that right now I'll show you that in a minute yeah and we'll give you your market update at but this look point. at this entry way it's pretty cool with all the little landscaping you have the stone garage little sitting area with the hurricane shutters too yes that's, that's nice nice built-in ones everywhere here on the doorway i like the wood door as well yes. and as soon as you come in <laughs> there is those mirrors again got but, some windows here that look newer new-ish yeah. maybe not actually new new but they don't look old and this would be your family room slash living room. It's a good size. It's really long. So let's talk market update because, well, after we do the kitchen, because there's probably gonna be a lot more we need to talk about there, but there's some interesting things to talk about the market update. I will hear it's funky, but I like it. 
nice cabinets, updated countertops, backsplash is really cool. I like that. This is kind of a, well, a couple things. You got like this area here, could be like a dining nook, I guess, but. This is your pantry, yeah. it's big. And this is kind of quirky. And here you could fit like a small little corner nook, dining nook. Yeah. Interesting too with uh, the windows. Yeah, whatever yeah. this is. <laughs> I think it's just metal. Yeah, it almost seems like it's maybe plastic even or vinyl or something. But so this is unique. It's like your dining or your laundry room cabinets, but then there's a toilet in here. That's interesting. Yeah. It's a weird combo utility room, <laughs> uh, water heater and air handler, and then your garage. I mean, most of this all makes sense except for the toilet. Yeah, but so. I guess for I guess, you know, when you have guests over, this could be their, the guest bathroom and this could make for a nice conversion to an airbnb you could keep that closed off and then they got their toilet maybe just add a sink and then you could turn this into like the living space for yeah. Airbnb, or just a second or a third fourth bedroom or whatever yeah. and you do have that outside access door to do so there is some shelving at top here for storage so market oh and we got some actually pegboard here too i think we're worth noting so that's nice to have but your market so this is where things get interesting right um as i mentioned before the the, the median sale price was like one i don't remember i'll tell you in a second but just a few weeks ago months ago it was two hundred ninety thousand dollars. so obviously some pretty big changes i think that's also just because again we don't know for lot or lauderdale leagues extremely well but i'm guessing maybe there's not a lot of houses in the area period so a few changes could really maybe disrupt that sale price first bedroom pretty good size yeah it's updated with the flooring as well and recently painted so another interesting thing about lauderdale lakes is the months of supply seven Point eight months of supply, which is definitely one of the highest in Florida that we've done on the channel. I think there's maybe one or two other areas that were comparable to that. And then your average sale to list ratio is pretty standard for a lot of Florida. You would think with all that supply and the median sale price that it would be, you know, dramatically different in one way or another, but it's 97.1%, which is pretty close to the average in Florida. Another good size bedroom. Pretty good size closet in here as well. And this is a two bed, one bath, 951 square feet home. It was built in 1961. So it is a small home. It's under 1000 square feet, but I feel like there is a lot of space. There is enough space for a small family or if you're single, um, you have, you know, the two bedrooms, one for a guest room. Leave a comment. Let us know your thoughts on this cabin. I kind of like it. <laughs> Looks old school. Mm -hmm. And the tile in here too does. Like this tile looks old school, but it's new on the walls. Here. Yeah. Looks like the toilet is a little newer. The shower head is newer. Yes. We got our linen. We have here. a linen closet. Pretty big closet. Yeah. Coming back out, we'll tell you a little bit more about Lauderdale Lakes. Again, we don't know the area extremely well because we are not from here, but it seems like overall pretty pleasant. Obviously close to lots to do with being so close to Fort Lauderdale. And Miami. Yes. Miami. Nice out there area here. And again, if you want to get connected with a realtor that you know knows the area well and is also a fit for what you're looking for, click the link in the description. Just answer a few questions. We have partnered with Home and Money and they'll actually connect you with a realtor, that's a, a perfect fit for what it is that you're looking to buy wherever you're looking to buy in the United States. This is a huge pool. Yes. The cage needs a little um, updating, but the pool, it's huge. It's it's really nice, especially if you like to do the lap swimming. Mm-hmm. And it's interesting. It's like an in-ground but above-ground pool at yeah. the same time. <laughs> And you have all the shade too from all the tall trees and the palm trees. Yes. And you can see from here the mango tree as well. That might be responsible for some of this yeah. damage because if some of those mangoes fall. 
we could get a close up of those. I could see those being heavy enough to, to cause some damage. Yeah. And actually, right here, this looks like a either bland, uh, plantain or banana tree, or a plantain tree. And a little bit of extra, you know, like walkway spaces to the sides and. Yeah, you could use that for use. a grill or just to keep some st some um, stuff there for the pool. And actually, on this side, oh, here we go. We do got some bananas here. So if you've never seen bananas grow on a tree, it's kind of neat. They don't grow the way you might think, or at least these kinds don't. They, they... Yeah, they almost look like they're upside down mm -hmm. when they grow. <laughs> it's pretty neat. So they got you covered with your food here. And it's nice that the uh, backyard, it's all fenced in as well. Yeah. And with all the trees, it adds a little bit of shade. And oh, a rooster. There's roosters. <laughs> so maybe you could get some eggs from the from the, from the neighbor. neighbor. Well, not from the roosters, obviously, but if there's mm -hmm. hens as well. <laughs> His nicely updated home with the pool and the mango trees is listed at $479,000. House number two with the big pool and all the fruit trees and the rooster, it's listed at $404,000. Which one was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to see another city with home tours in that city and find out about that city, check out this video right here. If you found this video entertaining or helpful, hit that like button. It helps us out a lot. Subscribe and turn on all notifications to catch the newest videos. And we'll see you in that video next.